Since ages, human race has been known to criticize its fellow beings. But what if we utilize the same spare time to think about the solutions? It is high time that we should stop blaming only the authority and the system and should start assisting them using our skills and knowledge to solve the major problems the world is facing these days. Fortunately, I have been blessed with the skill of art. I was determined to struggle for the solutions. I was determined to feed two pigeons with one seed, so along with the growth of my business. I started using my painting skills to preserve Mother Nature and to protect heritage back home. But initially, my art was limited to canvas within the confines of art galleries. And I always knew that the message my artwork carries was meant for a larger audience. It is said that life is lived out on the wire and rest is just waiting. So I took risk and painted my city Ahmedabad's very first of its kind 3D pavement artwork. Though I was not expecting much because this novel concept was unknown to my citizens. But the way people reacted was exactly opposite. I was stunned because earlier very limited number of people were used to visit art galleries there. Now it was difficult for me to handle the crowd. What was the reason? It was not that my art was very striking and that's it. No, the reason was addition of curiosity. That was the flesh when I could sense the authentic supremacy of art. That was the moment when I realized that how art plus curiosity can change the way people behave in day-to-day -day life. I became restless. I wanted to use this power on a larger scale. And then came the D-Day. ...of World Health Organization, more than 1.2 million deaths and more than 15 million are seriously injured due to road crashes across the world. In India, there is one death every four minutes, which is nearly 382 road deaths due to road accidents every day. Among the above deaths, the number of vulnerable road users like the pedestrians getting killed on the roads, especially in urban and peri-urban pockets, are more. Therefore, urgent measures are required to reduce the pedestrian fatalities on the roads. Worrisome situations, isn't it? But it is time we should stop worrying and start doing. One of the authorities from a private road transport company called me and asked if I can help them to reduce the number of accidents happening in the accident-prone zones, especially near schools and colleges. I was determined to struggle for the solutions, and thus my answer to the officials was a big yes. But this yes sent she was down my spine, because I had no clue that how I was going to finish such a huge-scale artwork in an extremely limited time period considering that the entire highway traffic was going to be diverted in smaller routes. And the authority can ask me to stop painting at any time to avoid the major traffic jams. Back home, girls don't go on the highways to paint. But in this case of adversity, my mother, Shakuntla Pandya, and my husband, Part Thakkar, proved to be the biggest support system, and I'll be gratified to them forever. They say that courage can work wonders. And we ended up painting one and unconsciously set New India Book of Records and Limka Book of Records. The authority tasted the artwork, opened it for public, and also declared it safe for both the drivers as well as pedestrians at any time. Since then, no accidents have taken place, and thus, overwhelmed authority asked me to create a basic colored 3D zebra crossings. During that, I made them aware that 3D zebra crossings has been applied in many other countries earlier. But there are some limitations of this wonderful technique. As 3D artwork could be seen only from specific vantage point, only from certain distance through camera. As human eyesight can see only 2D images and not 3D. So from all other angles, the 3D artwork appears odd and distorted and thus less impactful. So before painting on the roads, I took some time to reduce these limitations. And I finally came out with such an angles, which gave evident 3D effects to the motorists I was targeting even through bare eyes. I also tried to make the artwork look more stunning. 
So the drivers as well as pedestrians get attracted towards this magical, mathematical artwork. Even after knowing that this is merely an artwork and not real blocks, they gave attention to the black spot unconsciously. Our little efforts started releasing the results and were accepted with open arms across the world and thus drew the attention of Indian Road Transport and Highway Ministry. They invited us to paint one in Delhi, the capital city of India, where they asked the Central Road Research Institute to evaluate the impact of 3D zebra crossings on national highway. And their reports found astonishing results of speed reduction. And thus, they permitted the concept to apply nationally. Let us have a look to the importance of this speed reduction in case of road safety. In April 2016, the Ministry issued directives for state governments to remove traditional speed breakers on national highways as it could be a source of serious hazards to the fast-moving vehicles. On the other hand, speeding is the biggest factor responsible for the maximum number of deaths on Indian roads. According to World Health Organization, even 5% cut in average speed can result in 30% reduction in the number of fatal crashes. After application of 3D zebra crossing, the reduction in speed of different types of vehicles was found to vary between 1.6% to 20.3%. Finally, after getting the reports at hand, we can now loudly, proudly say that yes, art can rescue mankind. Art has the power to save lives. But what next? This is not the end, because new concepts will not take much time in getting old. Identical concepts might not work everywhere, and thus creative people should get ready for the next innovations. We can reframe the old tricks, but should not depart the dilemma until we solve it anyhow. And if me, an average girl, can do it, anyone can. Especially all the women who are lucky to have equal upbringing like men, equal freedom like men, and over and above each and every person who has less pressure of earning for the fundamental needs has an extra power to take risks for better men. And understanding and finding this power within us is not less than a revolution. I often see specially reserved seats for ladies in public transport, but I believe that let us make our legs strong enough that we don't need such reservations anymore. They say that life is a work of art. If you don't like it, just paint on it. And finally, I hope that you, all of you have marked this wonderful sculpture over here. But let me reveal you that this wonderful piece of art has nothing to do with my talk. It is just that before a few minutes, I succeeded in drawing your attention at the new red spot. Thank you. And lastly, yeah. I would like to call my mother, Shakuntla Pandya, on stage, who is the reason behind all the successful projects. Hello everyone, good evening and namaste. I'm extremely happy to stand in front of such a wonderful audience. Through TED Women's Stage, it has been already proven that women can do anything at any age. Uh, I would like to say that uh, pastly I did one uh, uh, Artwork, yeah, artwork, it was a yes, wonderful experience, yes, and yes. she is a yoga instructor, and uh, yeah, <laughs> that's the reason we are fit and fine and can do painting whole night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank At, you, thank yeah, you so much. My later age and being a an yoga instructor, I would like to say that fitness always helps us to uh, finish the project <laughs> successfully. <laughs> thank you, thank you.